Hello and welcome to From the Roots Up, where we are building our homestead little by little from the roots up. I'm Christy and today we are going to be incubating turkey and duck eggs. In order to incubate our eggs, we are going to use our tried and true Renzi Ovation 56EX. This is a workhorse of an incubator and we love it so much. We used to have one of those styrofoam incubators that you can buy at any farm store and I know that a lot of people have great luck with that. We bought it used from someone else and we just never had luck with it. It was really challenging to keep the temperature regulated and the humidity regulated and we decided it would be better to get a smaller but nicer more dependable incubator and at that point we upgraded to the little Brinzy dome incubator that can hatch about six or seven eggs. We absolutely fell in love with Brinzy and we decided that for the consistency and for what we used it for, it was worth the little bit of investment to get a nicer incubator. And so then we went ahead and upgraded to this one. We've had this for a couple of years now and it has worked amazingly well. The temperature is spot on, the humidity, it regulates itself with this humidity hose and it turns the eggs itself. It just is a wonderful, wonderful incubator. We get pretty close to 100% hatch rate in the incubator and I really think that the times we don't is only because of the, the eggs not being fertile, not the incubator not doing its job. I feel like this was an investment well worth the money, especially if you were gonna consistently be hatching throughout the season. This takes a lot of the work and the effort out of it and makes it almost foolproof. It will hold 56 normal chicken eggs in the turners, or you can get these bigger turners and it will hold turkey eggs or goose eggs or anything bigger like that. But it also has this separator in these bigger ones that you can put in and you can hold two rows of quail eggs in these. So really, in this incubator, you could hold about 115 quail eggs. So really, I would say this incubator is for anybody who really hatches quite a few, but not enough eggs to justify the big cabinet incubator, but you do have a consistent steady stream of eggs. Maybe it's meat birds, maybe you're selling your chicks, or maybe you just want to overpopulate your yard with thousands of chickens. I don't know anybody like that, but <laughs> This one is an excellent, excellent incubator. So now I'm gonna bring my assistants in to help us get the eggs ready to put in the incubator. <laughs> what did you <laughs> do? <laughs> uh, what on earth? All right, so if you were with us on our trip to BLK Farms, you will know that Miss Lacey so kindly gave us some eggs after we visited. We've got some khaki camel duck eggs and this lovely turkey egg. Now she warned us that this turkey egg probably wasn't going to, I'm gonna say Germany. <laughs> <laughs> this turkey egg probably isn't gonna hatch. She hasn't had great success with those, but she thought we'd give it a try. We have a tradition in our family when we hatch eggs. Every egg that goes into the incubator has to have a name because we root for these eggs individually. So first of all, the turkey, he's already got a name. Daddy named the turkey. And what did daddy name the turkey? Boomerang. Boomerang. Why did daddy name the turkey boomerang? You're gonna get it because if it hatches, he is going right back where he came. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have a place to put a turkey. Maybe between now and then we can find a place to put a turkey. But we're gonna let daddy have his name and we're gonna name him boomerang. Are you gonna write it on him? Be very careful. Okay, boomerang. Boomerang it is. Now we have to name our little ducklings, our little khaki camels. So I know that you already have some names, Michaela. So what do we have here? Georgie. Georgie. It's upside down, Mom. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, Georgie is one. Donald Duck. <laughs> okay, we have Donald. Yes, our dogs, and uh, we have a little dog named Daisy. So, so we've got Donald to go with Daisy. Maybe they'll be best friends. Only one that doesn't hatch. <laughs> okay. If he hatched, and they'd be best friends. So it'd be the greatest thing. It would be really cute. So Taylor, do you have some names? Scuttle. Scuttle. <laughs> love it. I love it. Scuttle. 
Um, what about bubbles? We have to have one named Bubbles. That's just the law. Yes. Bubbles. Uh huh. Well, we didn't ever. We, this is our first time hatching ducks, but when we got some yeah. from the, the feed store, we named one Bubbles. He had a big poof ball on his head. It was cute. Okay, so we have three eggs left. Michaela, what should we name them? Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, yes! Okay, okay. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Is Louie spelled like the other two, or is Louie actually spelled like the name Louie? I'm going to spell it like the name Louie, because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Not that it matters, because this will be the only time you're in writing. <laughs> all right, so we have them all labeled, and now let's get the incubator set up and ready to go. So this is what the incubator looks like, without the top on and without any of the trays in. It's just a nice open spot. The first thing we want to do is put the little turner in right here like this and you line it up with the holes there. And that just allows the motor to catch on here and turn the eggs back and forth. Then what we wanna do is put the egg trays in. We are gonna use two little egg trays and they just fit right in the little notches. Yep, I'm gonna put another one right here. And as you can see, when this turns, it turns the egg trays. And then we'll put one of the big trays in. Do you have the big tray? All right. There we go. They won't rock all the way to the sides, but they will rock because if they rock that far, the egg might fall out. And that just helps them to get evenly heated on all the sides. They t it turns them like a mother hen does. All right, so Michaela is gonna get our eggs in the incubator for us. Go ahead and put our turkey egg in that middle. Middle of the middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Together. Of course they do. Maybe I put them out of order. That's okay. Mm -hmm. They won't know. And then Georgie. Georgie, yeah. And then bubbles. And then last but not least, Donald. <laughs> so now that we have the eggs in the incubator, we're going to go ahead and put the lid on. So the first thing we want to do is to make sure we have some water nearby and we want to put the hose right into the water. This will allow the pump to pull up water as needed and regulate the humidity itself. The lid is on, the humidity hose is in, now the settings. In order to access the settings on the Brinzi, you're gonna to wanna to push both of the plus and minus at one time. That accesses the menu. First option is temperature, and if you hit okay, then you get a choice about the temperature. 99.5 is what we do want to incubate the duck eggs at, and also it's what you incubate chicken eggs, and turkey eggs, and guinea eggs, and quail eggs. So this is a pretty good standard temperature. We're gonna hit okay. This RH percent is the relative humidity. Hit okay. 50%, that's a good humidity to incubate these duck eggs. I might bump the humidity up closer towards lockdown at the end of the incubation cycle, but for right now, 50% is great. Turning mode. This is if I want the eggs to turn or not. Right now I do. So I'm gonna make sure that says on. Turning interval, this is how often you want the eggs to turn. 40 minutes, that's a great option. That's not too often, but it's regularly. 
Now this alarm high, it's going to tell me when the temperature is too high. And you can actually set how high you want it to go before it alarms you. This is just the standard 3.6 degrees high, and it'll alarm me if it gets any higher than that. And on the vice versa, alarm low, 5.4, that's pretty good. And then cooling, this is an interesting thing. A mother hen will get up off of the nest every once in a while to get a drink or to eat and then come back. This simulates that every little bit it will cool. I do turn that on. And I have it cooling every 120 minutes or so. This one lets you set if you want it to be in Celsius or Fahrenheit. I have the display in Fahrenheit. And I wanna save those. Okay, and then we are up and running. About day 10, we will candle the eggs and we'll bring you along for that and show you how to do that. And then hopefully in about 28 days, we've got some little peepers hatching out of here. Thank you for joining us on From the Roots Up, where we are building our homestead from the roots up. Please remember to like and subscribe.